if I was to say to you, right, you've never gone swimming in your life, mm -hmm. but you might someday fall in, the, in a pool of water and you need to be able to save your life. So I take you down the local pool, I give you a one hour lesson and I never teach you again. Right. 10 years down the road, you fall into a pool of water. Do you think you've remembered the skills to be able to swim and save yourself? So it's the exact same at martial arts. So all these, and again, it's mainly men, sell these women's self-defense courses where they'll be like, this is the move. This is the thing that will get you out of it. Mm -hmm. And actually it gives you a complete false sense, sense of security because you go away thinking, oh yeah, I know exactly what to do if that happens. But in that moment, that's not going to come to you because your brain will automatically, in a, in a state of panic, right. revert back to what it knows. Right. And if it hasn't been practicing it regularly, it's not there anymore. It's, yeah. You can think it, but it's not going to come out. And I think it's a really dangerous thing to give a, male or female a false sense of security and saying, this is the ultimate move. This is the thing that will save you. Because actually, chances are it's, it's not going to. There's no way you're going to be able to pull it out. I think it's recognizing the signs of stuff and not fighting that little voice in your head that's saying, mm, something doesn't feel right. I think as a female, we're always afraid of being rude or like upsetting somebody else or you know getting a little bit more emotional about stuff. But trust that instinct. And I think that's the best advice I can have because actually it's those small things that lead on to those, the more violent things that you then hear in the news. That's female self-defense.